think what we found through this investigation is absolutely shocking. In February, Animal Justice successfully brought charges against a live horse exporter here in Manitoba for exceeding the 28-hour legal limit in shipping live horses to Japan for slaughter. But unfortunately, we are now learning that that shipment was far from unique. Working alongside Japanese Animal Protection Group Life Investigation Agency, Animal Justice tracked four shipments of horses leaving Edmonton in May and June of this year, providing a never-before-seen insight into what these animals endure before they are fattened, slaughtered, and eaten as a raw delicacy. Working with the folks in Japan was, was absolutely invaluable and absolutely heartbreaking because now we know that the picture was worse than we ever imagined. There are no words to express how deeply sad I felt. Upon arriving in Japan, Ren Yakobi and his team documented as the exhausted, starving horses were slowly offloaded before being trucked to a quarantine facility where they were sprayed from both sides in disinfectant. The horses looked very tired, frightened and would not get off the truck unless the staff forced them out. The horses are very thirsty and they haven't had water for 28 hours, so they licked that disinfectant, which was really sad to see. On average, Yakubi discovered that shipments exceeded the legal limit by four to six hours, a stark contrast to claims from industry representatives. The last horse off the flight is back on feed, water and rest within two hours of landing. My impression was that the Canadian law of 28 hours was well exceeded every time. Based on their investigation, Animal Justice has determined that all of the shipments from Winnipeg in the past seven months appear to have breached the 28-hour limit, as did 60% of shipments from Edmonton, which is why they have lodged a complaint with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency to put a halt to all of the shipments until they can guarantee that those involved will comply with the law. It's hard to imagine any other industry saying, well, you know, 60% of, or 40% of the time we can comply with the law, so continue to let us operate. That just wouldn't fly in any other context. Bill C-355, which would ban the air export of Canadian horses for slaughter, cleared the House of Commons in May and now awaits approval by the Senate. In Winnipeg, Kurt Black, City News.